Cancer 2. A man suspended over a vast level place. This is all about contemplation. So often we respond to a situation impulsively. We do what we feel immediately, spontaneously. And that can be okay. That, that can be fine in certain circumstances. And in other circumstances, that's not a de demonstration of wisdom. In some cases, we need to make a decision which has far-reaching consequences. And we need to enter a period to make that choice of contemplation. Contemplation gives us the overview, the supervision of a situation. We can consider what will happen if we do this and if we do that. Um, we, we can project our imagination about the likely outcome in any of the choices that are available, available to us. And by doing this, we see more. We see more of, of what we would not have seen had we acted spontaneously, impulsively. So we're being advised here to maintain a certain sense of poise and operate impulse control when making choices that will have implications into the future. Important decisions. Such decisions cannot be made wisely if the mind is fluttering. The, the mind is, is, is very difficult to, to control. This is done through meditation or contemplation where we focus clearly and, and gently, slowly and easily on a particular point. The mind's attention has to be held on a single point if its power is to be optimized. A mind that flutters and thinks about lots of things all at the same time, it, it, it doesn't really work very well. We don't think clearly in that case. So if we want the mind to be single-pointed, to focus on exactly what is the matter at hand and our direction, then we need to just calm it down a bit. That can be done by watching the breath, for example. Just sit down and relax into the breathing. And it's really clear when you do it a few times that as you slow down the breath, the focus on emotionality just dissolves. We, 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 we have no commitment to our emotional state when we're focused on the breath. And so emotionality just lies dormant for a while. This is better for making wise decisions. To make long-term decisions when we're in a state of emotion very rarely turns out well. The available information is something that we, we need to take into account when we're making important decisions. There's always a lot more information in any situation than we can see. At first glance we, we see the obvious things, the things that are revealed to us first. They're, they're very rarely the subtleties, aren't they? They, they? If we need to know the subtleties of a situation, we need to look again and again and, and, and perhaps even feel into it. Imagine the feelings that will change and evolve as we pursue a given track. Now, the future cannot be known exactly, but it can be known in some senses as a probability. Let's take an example where you've just broken up with your lover and somebody else appears in your life who looks attractive and they have charm. And the obvious thing to want to do is to, to get back involved with another relationship. But if we just pause for a moment and, and contemplate what might happen if we do that, if we accept the dinner invitation, if, if we go into a sexual connection before love is established, 
what usually happens in those cases. We could just contemplate that and realize that actually this is no different from the last few times that we've done this. Why ever would we expect a different outcome if it's pretty much the same situation? We should not expect a different outcome. We'll get the same or similar outcome if we've got a similar situation. So a potentially demanding and, and debilitating decision is avoided after a moment's contemplation. The same with the job. Somebody might offer you a very exciting job with a very big salary, a nice car, a great deal of prestige in the title and so on. And yet they sort of hint that you, you won't be able to go home at five o'clock. You'll be expected to work late, sometimes on Saturday. And you, you just think, well, my wife's not going to like that. Well, why won't she like that? Because I'm not going to be spending much time with the kids. So what will happen? Well, year after year after year, my focus will become less and less on the family. This will give me less and less peace and security and comfort at home. This is almost inevitable. And it's avoidable if contemplation is, is added at the beginning, the decision-making stage. The, the aspect of, of um, the mind which we're discussing when contemplation is given is um, matched by the physical body. To enter this, this state where you're not so emotional, where you're easing the breath into a quieter rhythm, this is very good for the physical body too. We, we need to raise ourselves out of stress. We need to do that generally in life from time to time. And doing something non-stressful, which is active, like sport or family picnics or something like that, is it, it, certainly one way to reduce stress. But it's not as effective as a meditative attitude to life. And if you, if you take time, a little bit each day, even twice a day in the morning and evening, just a few minutes is enough just to move into that state of meditation, then you will find yourself able to recall that state in a moment in your normal busy life. So if somebody puts a challenge to you, or a decision to you, a question to you, in the middle of a busy day, you, you just pause for a moment and, and, and turn within and, and get into this gentle breathing rhythm. Immediately you'll see more. You'll see the, the pitfalls. You'll see opportunities that you may not have seen. You'll, you'll ask for more information in order to make the decision. And so on. This is this is what happens when you have a quiet mind. The number of choices available to us in life are so many. Life is just a maze. We we, we cannot imagine the implications of, 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 of anything we do unless we take an overview. So we're, we're moving up over the, the busyness and the maze of life, just to sort of see implications and possible directions and likely outcomes before we act.